Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, Joe Thomas at Birdwood Golf Course. And, of course, they're getting ready for their tee-off. So you may hear some uh, announcements going on in the background as they're getting ready for the 8 o'clock tee-off uh, for the Bill Howard Golf Tournament. And, of course, the gala. And there's still an afternoon tee-off as well coming up at, I think, 1 o'clock this afternoon. If you want to help out, go to BillHowardGolf.com. It all benefits the Alzheimer's Association of Central and Western Virginia. And, and this is relative because Dargan uh, Conchal, our friend, from Learning Rx has done some work with Alzheimer's Association, and they have programs for seniors uh, who are looking to just make sure that their skill set is as uh, polished up as it can be. Uh, we, we don't know all the physiological aspects of Alzheimer's yet, uh, but we certainly know a lot of the cognitive things that we can do in preparation for our age uh, as our age increases. That's why I took the uh, Learning Rx program. And uh, joining us now are Rick and Morgan. Uh, Morgan is easy to remember because it's my daughter's name as well. Uh, Morgan, uh, good morning. Thanks for joining us good here. Morning. And uh, Rick, thanks for coming by. Uh, uh, sure. So uh, you, you are a student at the Learning Rx. You took the Learning Rx program, didn't you? Yes, I did. And, and what was it that it was the push over the, the tipping point, if you will, that said, I need to do something. Was it you? Did Were you struggling with something and your mom and dad uh, stepped in to try to help understand what was going on? Yeah, I was having problems with uh, kind of being able to speak or um, write things down and, and it just made me feel really upset and feel like I couldn't do anything. Wow. And then my parents found uh, Learning Rx and said, hey, let's try this. And so... Well, it's completely gone. That's all I know. Uh, so, Rick, so speak about this as to, you know, what a parent goes through because I know how I felt. I felt like I had a whole bunch of workarounds. I was 50-something years old. Careful. Um, and, uh, and I had developed all of these little tricks to keep from having to worry about not being able to remember somebody's name, those kind of things. Um, but uh, I, so I didn't have to deal with it from a parent's standpoint. Right. But I see it. You know, some of my kids, I, I think maybe maybe they could go to the Learning Arts and get some help. Where were you when you were starting to find this struggle in your daughter? And was she the one who brought it to your attention? I think it was a mutual thing. Uh, we were, were homeschool parents, and uh, what, what the main reason we did that was... Uh, wanted to instill lifelong learning mm -hmm. and good, the problems good. that Morgan was having with uh, taking information in being able to uh, store it and recall it in a timely manner got in the way of learning uh, it affected her mm -hmm. scholastically and socially and it was frustrating for her and frustrating for us because as parents as you know you, you know what kind of person you have well, it does it does a re I, and uh, my wife homeschooled uh, two of my kids through middle school as well and I can imagine the, the stress she would have felt thinking well hold it are we doing something wrong because yeah. it's hard enough to be a homeschool parent in a world where everyone's telling you no trust the big education you know yeah. uh, industry and yeah. uh, and then to feel like uh oh you know our daughter's not resp responding to this is it, you know I'm sure the first reaction is it's something we're doing sure um, my wife and I would have several conversations of where uh, was it us you know mm -hmm. what, what and we tried you know you try anything as a parent you're willing to try anything to get your kids what they need to um, to learn mm -hmm. and being able to uh, to, to uh, function and, and to be, be out there yeah to be yeah, successful sure. and so um, it, it was just frustration all around and then we saw her self-esteem and her self-confidence go down as well mm -hmm. a, as a parent that hurt that hurts you to see your kid sure. doubt themselves mm -hmm. oh, and yeah. so uh, isn't that that's really the whole reason for being a parent is to kind of give that kid your kid that uh, set of wings to go off when we come back i want to yeah. i want to get into this a little bit with you here uh, we are at birdwood they're going to go all tee off we're going to go and talk a little bit more with you morgan because uh, i i can't i see no vestige of having uh, uh, problems uh, expressing yourself i want to uh, kind of follow through on how how her cognitive skills issues were impacting her ability to communicate, to uh, uh, to interact with her friends, and to uh, take in the information. Maybe we'll talk to mom as well, and we'll talk to the Albus Dumbledore of the Learning Rx, uh, Dargan, next. <laughs>